Well, once again, I'm hanging out with my man Tyrone Bennett, and typically we're hanging out near his food truck, yeah. Heart and Soul Food yeah. Truck. But that is just one of the ways that people know you and connect with you. Yeah. You've got a big event coming up. You're big into giving back into charity, especially with kids. You've got an event coming up this weekend. It's got a long title. I'm gonna let you let him tell it. <laughs> see if he can get it right. <laughs> so it is the Kids Entrepreneur Fair and Indoor Market. It's gonna be located at the Lincoln View Museum at 102 ML King Avenue in St. Augustine this weekend from so, 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. So what, I mean, again, I know you have so many ways that you give back to the community. Why are you giving back to the community in this format? Well, I'm, I am a business owner and um, I believe um, fostering children from a young age. I think that we should also um, show kids that yes, you can go through a career, go to college, um, and go into a, a career and you know be successful in. But you also can start your own business. You can also because that's you know that's what the world's about: innovation, creation. Um, and so we wanted to do something. I wanted to do something. I've seen it before. My friend actually took her daughter um, to somewhere up in um, uh, in Rhode Island, and um, her name is uh, Shireen, um, and her daughter is Wilson, and they started their own. Um, clothing line and she's four years old oh and, exactly <laughs> and she's four years old and it just blew my mind and she said she went to this event where there was tables and fairs set up for kids and just inspiration it was she said she was just children all set up and all selling and trying to convince you as an adult hey you come buy my stuff and it was just it was just innovation and I think we need to do more of that, inspiring. And there's a lot of things that kids, you know, we, you know, kids are, you know, doing, not doing right. And we want to do the, and have some positivity. And so we want to do, have a place where they can come, sell their things that, um, their product, their market, um, whatever they came up with. Um, and actually it gets to bond with their, their parents because their parents have to spend a lot of time ah, with them getting ready, setting up the table, you know, um, you know, um, uh, going on a whole marketing and advertisement, um, piece of it. And so we really want to do something. I haven't seen something like that in, in, in St. Augustine. Um, I watched a video from my friend up in Rhode Island and I was very inspired. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do that. And sometimes I like to take on challenges that, because it's not easy. It's, you have to find kids entrepreneurs, you have to organize, you have to market, then you have to promote, and then you have to kind of convince people, <laughs> come out, <laughs> spend money on kids items. But I think um, St. Augustine and Jacksonville and the surrounding area is very um, supportive of working with children. And so we wanted, really wanted to do something. And then I brought it to Lincoln View Museum. They were like, no problem. And then we got sponsors. Um, like, uh, uh, what's it called? Caddyshack, mm -hmm. uh, Merry Brothers. Mm -hmm. And um, we also got um, uh, sponsors like uh, the Bailey Insurance Group. And they just said, oh, kids, yeah, we, of course. <laughs> of course we're going to do kids it. Kids of the future. Yeah, and then we got, we got some food donated from um, Sunny's Barbecue and Augie's Pizza for the kids. So we have free food, free ice cream from Ben & Jerry's. I forgot that. Oh. Ben & Jerry's. Um, but, but all this free stuff, you still got to pay for the kids stuff. So make sure you exactly. have some cats for the kids. Exactly. So we, we want to make everything free. So you just bring your wallet full, spend money on the kids so they can get better. They can develop. They can use that money and possibly, like um, she said, start an Etsy account. And, and because those, those are the avenues where they can actually sell their products online. So we really wanted to do something good for the community. Um, I'm all about giving back and mm -hmm. um, giving back to the community and, and the children. I think we, I, my focus this year have been for the last couple of years with the summer with the summer pro feeding program and this has been really focused some money and uh, energy towards children development. And so that's we we really want to do that. I think that's very important. Um, I have a son that's 15 years old um, and a daughter that's 14, uh, 13, um, and. That's kind of thing, you know, especially with a lot of the TikToks and the, mm. the video games. And, you know, you really want to get them out to do something. Use that tools that yeah. you have and use it towards getting some money and starting your own business. So you can use those tools. Um, but that, that's what we really want to do. All right. So what's the website? If anybody wants our so, Facebook. Facebook is under Kids Entrepreneur Fair and Indoor Market. You can also go to LincolnViewMuseum.com. Um, it's there, um, .org, sorry. Um, you can also follow me 
Um, we feed um, uh, St. Augustine uh, Incorporated on, on Facebook, and then also Florida Historical Coast has it posted on the van as well. All right, so while we get plugged in on all of that, let's take a minute to get an introduction with one of the kidpreneurs that will be showcased this weekend. All right, so we had to break away a little bit from the adults to talk to one of the kidpreneurs that will be at the event this weekend. I've got my new friend Mesa here. These are some of her products. And so what kind of business did you come up with? So I have multiple things. I have earrings, bracelets, and St. Augustine pink sauce. What is St. Augustine pink sauce? Consider me intrigued. So pink sauce, it's like a dipping sauce mostly for seafood, but it can be used for other food. And so you can see it's pink sauce. <laughs> and at other restaurants that I like to go, like local restaurants in St. Augustine, they serve pink sauce, but they've never bottled it. And so I've decided to bottle it so that other people not from St. Augustine can try what St. Augustine what? is like. Is this your own recipe or did you get some help? Um, there's like a little like inspiration from other restaurants like Murph's To Go on West King. Um, their pink sauce is really good. But it's kind of my own recipe with other inspiration. Okay, so you're doing that and you're doing jewelry. I mean, what inspired you to start your jewelry line? So for the earrings, it's made out of a toy called a mini brand that are very popular. And I just decided to make earrings out of them because they're very cute and tiny. I like it. And then the bracelets? So on a lot of girls I've seen have made bracelets like this and they're very cute and fun and colorful. So I decided to buy myself some beads and make bracelets to sell. I like it. So entrepreneur on a whole nother level. What does it mean that you have an opportunity to go out to a big fair and join other kids and show off your kidpreneur skills? So that I, I can get other ideas from other kids and they can also get ideas from what I'm selling. And then what is the end goal? Are we trying to open up our own big company so we can be a billionaire someday? Not a big company, but I'd like to make a good profit out of all of my products. Oh, look at you, business-minded. I had no sense like that when I was growing up. All right, so if people want to, they can come see you this weekend, but is there anywhere online that they can find your products so they can order from you or connect from you directly? Um, not yet, but I'll probably open an Etsy shop so they can buy bracelets and earrings. Okay, Etsy, I don't have Etsy, but kudos to you, Mesa, for what you're doing. I'm taking Thank notes, you. I'm old, but I'm learning that I can be taught some new tricks. So it's going down this weekend. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live.